Hey, it's Rory. And I'm Ryan. And uh, we're the stylish. Black Very song. stylish. Ooh, Do you like see this? Like this? First off, touch is mess off. Now read it, read it, read it. What did it say? Um, Riesling, rose, rum, and rap. That's my lifestyle. That's the life I live. What you living? Ooh. Tequila, tannins, tacos, and trap. Mm. Yeah, it definitely makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a shirt that embodied both of them. Yes, it's perfect. And check it out. Ooh, they got the Black Song logo on there too. Yeah, 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 Thanks. yeah. Nice. We're doing things. <laughs> Real <laughs> fancy. We're Real fancy today. Yeah, and as you can tell by our spread. Right, and it's a holiday we want to celebrate, and we not only want to celebrate every day, but we want to celebrate some Black Girl Magic and Hennessy USA. And hey, what do we like to celebrate with? Ooh, Hennessy. That yak. Like, yak. like Shannon say, that yak scoop. <laughs> scoop. <laughs> No miles though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Black Girl Magic. Yeah, everyday. because yeah, yeah. Hennessy USA just promoted Jasmine Allen to the Senior Vice President of Marketing. And Hennessy is a brand that's been rocking with African Americans or Black people for years. And we've been rocking for a with In a long time partnership or collaboration, as they say. Uh, a few years ago, I went to an event. It was called An Unexpected History. It was mm. the history between, you know, Hennessy and African Americans or black yeah. people. Uh, I went there to find out why black people love Hennessy so much. I got my answers. Mm -hmm. um, first was like back in war times, you know, black people were sent to war, World War One, World War II. Uh, they spent time in France. Okay. Uh, they were accepted pretty much in France. They were allowed in the bars and things like that. They brought that love of cognac with what they were drinking there yeah. back to America. Uh, but besides that, throughout the years, like... Um, Hennessy was the first brand to um, advertise in Jet Magazine Ooh. and Ebony. Nice. And then also they were the first like corporate sponsors for the NAACP. And um, you said Miss um, um, Allen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hennessy was also the first company to hire a black VP. Ooh. Yeah. I didn't know Back that. Back in, I think it was 1968. Damn. So... Nice. And what was it? Civil Rights was 1965, so they yeah. were really ahead of the game. So anyway, it's been a great collaboration. They've always been for the culture, and we respect that, and, and we support that. And we're going to always rock with them. Always. Um, what kind of Hennessy are we drinking today? We, ha we actually had the Hennessy's that you normally see, like the regular VS. The regular VS and the Privilege. Yeah, but... <laughs> but y'all know about that already. And we got a little excited <laughs> and drank them. And you probably heard us all about these, but right now in our glasses we have Hennessy White. All and right. Hennessy White... Is uh, was not sold in America. It's sold in the Caribbean islands mm. and it's sold in France specifically. Uh, it is the first pressed juice of the Uni Blanc grape, okay. which is the grape that they use to produce all of uh, the cognac. Actually, yeah. All cognac. Yeah. Uh, the only thing or the major difference is that it's not aged. So if you look, if you can see the color, you see these are much darker than this one. Mm. It, Hennessy White is not aged. Ooh. So that so, makes it a little bit more aromatic, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Take a smell. Mm. Take a taste. It's very light. It's very floral. Yeah. It yeah. tastes like all the fun nights that I have. <laughs> Laced it's with a little bad softer. decisions. <laughs> a little softer. Yeah. Mm. This, one, this one for me is, not, uh, is a lot softer than the regular VS. Yeah. Even the privilege. Even the privilege. Yeah. It's a lot smoother and um, more aromatic, more floral. Yeah, yeah, and I would recommend drinking it neat or even on the rocks. If you want to, you can make a little cocktail with cranberry, yeah. or apple juice, whatever you feel like making. But, but, nice, but nice and neat. I like drinking it straight. Uh, and then also we have the Hennessy XO, yeah. um, which is aged about 10 years. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but we are going to get into it, right? Want to try I mean, not right now. We're, I'm going to work on this. <laughs> okay. And, and then we have the Hennessy Parodies. Hmm. <laughs> it looks expensive. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, she cursed me out when I actually came from the store with this. But um, this was actually from their Master Blender. And if they had a blend that was supposed to be attached with music and symphony. What they call the U de V or U de V? Oh, the V. What does it mean? Uh, water of life. Yeah. So this is actually a special blend of the rare cognac from like the what, nineteen, the seventeen hundreds, I believe. I think it was seventeen ninety. Yeah. yeah. They made it. No, Tennessee is old. Tennessee. <laughs> what they celebrated their two hundred fifty year anniversary a few years ago. Yeah, and this is some really good stuff. But I'm um, waiting for a super special occasion. Yeah, right? special occasion. Don't worry, it's coming yeah. up. It's coming up. We'll get into that, but we'll just enjoy the Hennessy White from now on. Ooh. If you know someone from the Caribbean coming in, tell them to grab you a bottle. Yeah. And that one bottle that's been sitting in your bar for months, drink it, Toots. Nobody's... Toots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saving that bottle of White Hennessy like it's special. We drink things all It's special, exactly. Drink it. Yeah. Enjoy life. Make sure that uh, anything is possible. <laughs> anything is possible. <laughs> and like we always say, everyone's on their wine and liquor journey. And we hope you can start today. And I hope Hennessy can take you with us. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs> we cheers like three times already. I just don't want to keep drinking.